Greetings, my excellent friends. Welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed. What makes a skater great? Recapping the weekend in Stavanger, Norway. What a great World Cup to start the next quadrennial toward the next Olympics. And what we know now is there's an out and there's an in. Out, Sven, Nils, Irene, Kjell Noyce is injured, Brittany Bow is retooling, now Kadera is out. Those people are out, but Brittany and, and Kjell will be back. Joey Mante as well, he's kind of retooling too, kind of injured. But we've got new skaters coming up. Rodney Wicklin, we featured her a couple of times on this channel. Just an amazing skater, and she does two things exceptionally well. One, she hammers her turns, builds her turns, and in the straightaway, she uses her weight instead of her quads and pushing all this stupid stuff. She's using her body weight, and she's got great mass, great body weight to power ratio. So that's great to see. Also, this other Norwegian, Sander Eitrum. Norwegian 5,000 meter in the B category yesterday, 20 year old, he, he beat Patrick Rose by two seconds. So the Dutch are like, you guys gotta go. Dutch have to figure this out because this guy, Sander Eitrum, had 0.5 of a second between his slowest lap and his fastest lap. That is even, that's like Niels van der Poel stuff. So he's probably doing Niels van der Poel training. Just do the same stuff over and over and you get good at doing the same stuff over and over. You've got Watura Murashagi, Min Son Kim, Marika Grunwald out of the Netherlands. All these young skaters coming up. And of course, then we have Jordan Stoltz. Need I say more? I featured him five times on this channel. Go look at this. I'll, I'll post these analyses uh, on this video. Look at his skating. He has confirmed what we've delivered on this channel over and over since October 8th. Less is more, timing rules, moving with the lead skate, abandoning the push, being on top of your skate, and one skate on the ice, and lateral compression. Look at how laterally compressed Jordan is. There's no wide stuff, there's no pushing out. Look at Thomas Kroll compared to Jordan. Look right here, it's totally different. It's like one century versus another century. So these guys, the Dutch are gonna have to figure this out. They're probably gonna have to go to school and put a curriculum together based on Jordan Stoltz technique and then come back in a couple years. We'll see what happens. The other thing is team pursuit, amazing. Everyone's pushing now, so that's gonna be the norm. And we're gonna see a lot of, we're gonna see a lot of faster times in that race because all the teams are starting to get used to it now. Mass start, for women and men, very different. For women, just make it a 300 or 500 meter race because all the women do is sit there and then sprint at the end. So why even have it? You know, when I was skating pack style, they'd call the race back. They'd shoot the gun and say, you guys aren't even doing anything, come back to the line. They should do that with women's mass start based on, I saw both semis and the final today. Just sitting around doing nothing and then sprint. I mean, what good is it? You get two points for a sprint lap? No one cares about that, so it's stupid. And then men's, these two guys, Felix Reine from Germany and Gabriel Ordor from Austria using the Alpine method together. Those guys hammered, they broke away, and they made a great race of it. And the major, major thing is Bart Swings leading the trail pack, they didn't even chase him down. It's like, hello, do something. So the mass start is in question. In my mind, it's, it's, it could be exciting. But if you're just going to sit around for 14 laps, women, and, and go last lap, it makes no sense at all. And then we have one final thing. Laura Dubroy, he's a veteran, 30-year-old from Canada, and he's been honing his technique. He's so strong, so powerful, silver medalist in the Olympics, 30-year-old. He's got a family now. He is really getting better. And his turns, look at this pressure, and his straightaways, look at how he's moving out of that exit, moving with his lead skate. So this is really powerful stuff, and it shows that you can always get better no matter what age you are. And he, it, I've spoken to him, he's like, I haven't even started yet, and I love that. So lots of great things to look forward to in here in vain next week. I'm sure it's going to be an exciting weekend. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jeff Kleiber. This is Speed Skating Deconstructed. We'll talk to you next time on this channel.